human beings are consuming vastly more animal flesh than, than ever before on average in, in a world of, of 7 billion closing in on 9 billion by 2050. And so human beings are consuming on average 42 kilograms of flesh, animal flesh per year, uh, versus 23 kilograms only a half century ago per person. Uh, and there's obviously gigantic disparities between nations, so rich countries consume vastly more animal flesh and derivatives than do poor countries, uh, and there's cl huge class disparities, especially within uh, fast industrializing countries like China, which are racing towards Western-scale diets. So one of the biggest messages I try, or I hope to get across with the hoof print is to, to, to find a way of expressing the environmental cost and, and, and also that by uh, that, that extends into the social uh, costs of, of that scale of animal flesh production. And so the, the biggest message for me is that the human species has, has, uh, is, is consuming flesh in a very unequal way, and uh, this is a vector of, of inequality on a world scale. And I think that the, the, the biggest point is that we can't consume, we can't continue to treat this as a measure of, of development and as, a, as an aspiration, a normative aspiration of, of modern society to be consuming uh, animal flesh on the scale that Western societies have, have, have celebrated as, as uh, what, what it means to, to be modern. And, and I think meat has been uh, a, a major part of, of, of the dietary aspirations of, of of not just the West now, but in, in many other parts of the world. And so my biggest message is that you know, reduced meat consumption uh, needs, needs to be a paramount social environmental priority. Uh, and then what, how that plays out in terms of transforming uh, the, the, the agricultural systems of production, I, I think there's no place for factory farms in a sustainable planet. Uh, integrated livestock have always uh, since, since the rise of agriculture, there have always been animals uh, integrated with a mixed farming, or in most cases anyway, and those livestock have, have played a functional role, uh, scavenging on waste, um, fertilizing fields, being involved in, or used in traction. Uh, but that is, is something that is not now. Animals have been disarticulated uh, from fields and from their functional roles in terms of uh, the, the control of um, the recycling of waste and the, the fertilization of fields that has now been lost. And so I think my, my, my first point of focus is to say that the levels of consumption are unsustainable that have been held up as a model of development and then uh, and, and, and to basically point a finger at, at factory farming as, as, a, as a great uh, vector of, of inequality and, and, uh, on a world scale that, that really has no place in the world.